Welcome back to the Riz Show. Got some guests, not guests, but guests <laughs> in the studio. First, uh, coming back to the show, Mr. David Tell. Yeah. Hey, man. Welcome back, guys. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you are welcome. Uh, I mean, thanks you are, for having us you back. Are, you don't remember being here, right? I, you anyway, know what? As we said honest. earlier, that I, I had not been here for at least a year or so. And uh, it's great to be back in the new location. It's <laughs> <laughs> not like he told you that. He you was know, just waiting until he got on here. <laughs> but can we just say, uh, okay, it's very rainy out there. Uh -huh. And the fountain in front of the building does not add to the... Uh, <laughs> It's it's on right now. Yeah, it's on. Is that whose job is that? That's Get that intern would, on that. Uh, well, one job to be on. Yeah, even in pouring down rain, I, he says more water, please. Well, I say if the, we're having a guest, and I know I know you like fountains. <laughs> I like fountains when it's a beautiful, clear day, right? Maybe you just had a latte and you could stare and dream. But when it's raining like that, it really looks like we're sinking. It looks like we were torpedoed. And now it's coming up well, through the, according through to the, the back. Deck of the boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, there's leave. no hope. Every man for himself. So I grab a bucket and start bailing us out. <laughs> no, it was my understanding, according to my notes, it was rain or shine. David Tell needs a fountain. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's my movable. writer. <laughs> no, a that, fountain. That's movable. And uh, your opener is with you, Ian, Ian Finance. Ian, very funny. Yes. yes. Hey, hi, everybody. Thanks for having me, man. And uh, are you on with uh, Nikki Glazer on her I am, yeah. show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nikki's yep. a, a good friend. We have yeah. her on. On all the time here. Nikki's a local. Yeah. yeah, this is her hometown here. Awesomely funny. Yeah, that's right. Super She's funny. the best, man. So, uh, Dave, last time you were on this show, yes. uh, when we were downtown, mm -hmm. uh, I believe after your, your shows at Healing, you went over to the east side. Oh, that. And, okay. And, yes. and, <laughs> and the car, now he remember. <laughs> now yes. you remember. And the car you were in uh, was stolen. Not with you in it. Well, but, uh, this is like such a great uh, a story because the manager of the club at the time... Andy, uh, Andy R. I. Um, who uh, <laughs> who said, "Hey, I want to go to the strip club." Which for you guys, the strip club, it's it's almost like you know, you you guys, that's what you do. That's uh -huh. just what that's how every night ends. Mm -hmm. If you want to continue partying after one a.m., you, you to go, go to, to either the casino or the strip club. No, no, yeah. every East event, <laughs> every event, yes, no matter yes. what it is, ends on the east side. Like, <laughs> like I, yeah, it could be anything. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, uh, you know, how about a big hand for the graduates of 2019? Okay, let's all hit the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we went over there, and uh, you know, we parked and we did everything we were supposed to do, and then um, as we were leaving, it was like in a movie the. Um, I guess you could say the car stealer was driving out, and my guy, Andy, tried to stop it by, as we've seen in a movie, if someone's stealing your car, try and jump on the hood. Yeah, mm -hmm. So he was almost well, run over. He was TJ Hooker. Then, yeah, and then, he, and then he did not. He, he jumped not, on the hood? He, he got in the way of it, like, that's my car. <laughs> Like, like the guys, like it was go, a big oh, mistake. Oh, okay. Like he thought sorry. it was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought this was my car. You know, two people <laughs> had I normally, <laughs> I normally start my car with a screwdriver. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, my bad. That was gonna be like, I'm sorry. You know, I do have a drug addiction, and <laughs> I got in the wrong car. Of course, I used the screwdriver as a key. Imagine and, him going uh, to a valet. I know it's your car. Uh, color me you embarrassed. A valet, and then handing the valet over a screwdriver. <laughs> <to me. laughs> Stay out of the glove box. Well I, well, I heard you were yelling. Ah, my American spirits are in there. There's a car. <laughs> My notebook shirts. was in there. <laughs> oh, your notebook was in there? Yeah, and for comedy, that's like a child. You're like, oh, no. My un my premises. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know my that. Setup. My setup. <laughs> oh, you had to start from square one? I did, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. My puppet. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you were like Carrot Top, you'd have been completely screwed because everything would have been in there. Yeah. No one would have stolen the car then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice one, Ian. <laughs> so, so, listen, you were on the show. I thought we had a great time. I thought we did, too. Yeah, yeah you, yeah. Know, you remember vividly. And now it's coming back to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm into it. We, we had a great time. <laughs> yes. So I thought maybe we had a connection even when mm -hmm. you were here the first time. I thought, like, we we're going to exchange numbers and, like, we we're going to hang out after. A couple East Coast guys. That, that never happened. Well, um, it's going to happen tonight. How about that? Oh, <laughs> really? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it right now. You know, the first shows, Michael is the manager here. The first show sold out, correct? Mm-hmm. These second shows, right? That's where that's where you earn it. Is the second show. Anybody can sell out a first show, all right? Anybody can do that. But down at the mall to get people to stay past the mall time when the escalators stop rolling and <laughs> it becomes more of like a weird kind of shooter game. <laughs> then yeah, that's when I want. So I think we should hang on the second show. Well, well and here and here's and you come on stage. Oh. So oh oh no! Wow. I, I, I uh, no, we had a great show last night. Nervous. Oh, why not, dude? You're a local guy. 
I get very nervous. What about for the fans? Ah, screw them. You don't think so? No. <laughs> <laughs> Take a couple hands. <laughs> screw so, screw so, so you're on the show. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, we. I think we got this thing. I think we got this connection. Like, I'm a big fan, and uh, I was in New York two weeks later. I was in New York oh, two no. weeks later, and we went to the Comedy Cellar. Did you see me? And who's playing? David Tell's got 15 minutes on stage, and you crushed it. I mean, you crushed it. And then after, I was with my brother-in-law and, and my sister-in-law. I had some friends with us and went to the Comedy Cellar, and you were great. And then we were leaving, and there's David Tell smoking a cigarette by himself, just standing up there above the stairs. And I say to my, my party, I'm like, hey, he was just on my show two weeks ago. I know him. You, I'm going to go say hi. Oh. You had no idea. Right? <laughs> <laughs> In front of watch, everybody. Watch this amazing cover. You know, my mom has dementia. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes just to see how her world, I, depend, I pretend I have it, too. Like the one opportunity, I, the one opportunity I, I thought like I was going to uh, kind of show off in front of my brother. I am so sorry about that. No, it's, I, it's on I, me. No, no it's back me up I, on this. I don't, don't back me up on this. It's that on Comedy me. Cellar is, is a hot club. It really is like an iconic club now. Yeah, he's and that And that people, like, that people come up to you like both drunk uh, whether they be drunk, homeless, or somewhere <laughs> in between. Time. And, like, you just have, like, your guard up, basically. Yeah. It's like, no, oh, thanks, it. buddy. You know, whatever. Does he have a knife? <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, I got what a knife. You, you had know. a knife. Dave, well, never. Go. He's going to New York. He uh, takes his <laughs> to defend himself. Never apologize for this ever because he came back and told the story, and it has destroyed him for three, two, three years <laughs> oh, now. So I mean, it's been the best. I think the divorce is finally final, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you really <laughs> put a lot on that meeting. I really apologize. Huge. You're huge, man. No, it's. It's a story. It was actually, it's a very good story, oh, I, I tell. Um, and in fact, my wife uh, said, oh, you have David Tell on uh, on uh, Friday? I said, I said, hey, she goes, remember the time where you, know, you tried to show oh, off geez. in front of everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I really apologize. No, no, but the Comedy Cellar, what a great place to... Uh, not be recognized. <laughs> to not be recognized? No. <laughs> it just made me feel like, man, I'm just an insignificant St. Louis Come on. Show guy. No, well, how was the rest of your trip? It was great. Yeah? It was great. No what do you think of those New York prices, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm from there. Oh, well, there you go. I'm, I'm from there. But the Comedy Cellar, people don't understand what that is, what the Comedy Cellar is. It's the kind of place where people would go to kind of test that material. Like, yeah. you had 15 minutes that day I saw you. And, I mean, it was pretty much ad-libbed. Could be, yeah. Is is the comedy cellar where they they use they did a lot of scenes in uh, crashing with Pete Holmes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what's the show that you guys do there now? What's it called? Oh, uh, this week at the comedy cellar. This week On at the comedy, comedy Central. Cellar. There you go. Yeah. Mm. They're trying to make it a, a topical uh, thing, a weekly kind yeah, of. Yes, on the second. I think they were. I think it got picked up for a third season. Hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. That. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, not third sure. Third season, me, but. Uh, guys? Yeah, so they Third take, like, season. topics of the week, and then comics talk about it at the table, and then your whole set, you get a list of topics, then you joke about those topics, and they take certain jokes and put it in for whatever happened during the week. Mm. So if it's a big news week, it's great, but if it's in the middle of nothing, it's a lot it of... It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of stretch. It's like, talk about 4th of July again. Like, oh, God no, but so, so at the comedy cell, you'd see before a, a comic, like, let's say Kevin Hart, for, for example, you know, before he goes and does stadiums, they test out the material. They come by, yeah. They come by and, and work out kind of a bit over at a place like the comedy cellar. Mm -hmm. And they are, have a strict, if you take your cell phone out, they will break your fingers. Really? Yeah, they make it really tough over there now because uh, people, honestly, it's hard to get people off of the phones. And, uh, you know, I think he'll back me up on this is that, like, there's the new comics and there's the old me. Like, I'm the old comic, you know. And then there's, like, a lot of, um, there's just a lot of, uh, in New York, there's just a lot of comedy. There really is. So that's why, you know, they're tight little sets and you get to, like, work on stuff and everything like that. But on the road, I do that, too. So, you know, last night it was an awesome show at the, uh, at the, fun, at the, yeah, uh, at the helium, helium, you know, yeah, yeah. and, like, it really was that good. And uh, the crowd was, like, exceptional because we, we, I've had a few stinkers lately, you know. I'm not going to say every one of them a is stinker. It was bad. Yeah, What's I've a had, stinker? Wait, for you mean well, you were the crowd? The crowd is just like whoop, and some of them are in New York because you get a lot of tourists there, uh -huh. and you also get a lot of metro angst, a lot of PC, a lot of uh, you know, like oh that's not right, <coughs> HR kind of stuff, and uh, you know, <laughs> HR, you, you know, that kind of like oh I'm a bad person, you know yeah, that kind of yeah. thing. So that's boring, and we all know in the comedy world that like you know. You got to push it to some degree, but um, mm -hmm. he can back me up on it. Last night, that crowd was just they all incredible. the way through. 
I right. mean, I've been touring with them for over the past year, and that was one of the best crowds we've had. It was really it was good. A, and no, no lie or anything. It was it was truly awesome. And uh, Tina was on it. Yeah, and, uh, Rafe. They both Rafe, killed yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, Rafe is amazing. And then uh, I'd say from the beginning. From welcome to the show to the mm -hmm. merch table. It was yes. all that good. It really picked it up at the merch usually, table. Usually either the show's good and the merch sucks, or the show sucks <laughs> and the merch is uh -huh. good. It's yeah. rare to get the, <laughs> yeah, the double whammy. That, yeah. Well, how are you dealing with the cell phone thing? That's I mean, that's got to be really annoying looking out there and seeing somebody with their head buried in their cell phone or have their cell phone up and recording. You know all these koalas that have been uh, smoked out in Australia? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of hiring them <laughs> and releasing them into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so would you, would you rather take... Take a picture of an old hack from cable or a beautiful smoky koala who needs a drink. A beautiful smoky koala. Needs something a drink. better in the room. That needs if, there was, drink. if there was something better in the room, people would be like, I, oh no, look at that koala. Drinking all that ice water. <laughs> well, I mean, for example, when Louis C.K. was starting, you know, starting yeah, to do no, shows. Yeah, no, he can't, can't use his phones. And, and, you know, his first set was wound up on the internet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. Uh, I was at the club after, where that happened. After somebody recorded it. I was at the club when that happened, and, um, you know, it really is difficult. Like, uh, people rec want to record the set, and, like, if you're working on an album or you're working on a special, you don't want that to happen. You definitely don't. No matter who you are, you don't want it to happen. You Because you're, like, it's, like, not your release. It's, like, you want to control the product. But, like, it's funny how people do record sometimes. Like, this is a classic one, like this, with the phone like that. <laughs> Like, kind of turned away. Who is this master spy? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that three times. Just like, oh, I'm enjoying the show. Really <laughs> is that then like turn to the side? Because I mean, if you go to a concert. Yeah, oh, no, you got to. Oh, yeah, my. So I was, uh, well, Guns N' Roses came to town uh, a couple years ago. Yes. Uh, first time in, what, 25 years since yeah. the riot. There was a big Guns N' Roses riot here what? in St. Louis. Yeah, they tore apart the amphitheater. And oh, was that with Metallica? No, that was, no, Axl Rose, somebody was taking a picture out in front, and Axl Rose jumped out on the stage and beat the crap out of the guy, and the, the, no the fans tore apart the venue, and the, and the band had to be snuck out of town, and Axl Rose was arrested. And When uh, was this? 91. 1991. first year of the Whoa. Theater, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a big first deal. Year. So Has he been back since? The first, this was time, the first time, 25 years later. Did wow. he apologize? He played at the dump. Didn't make mention of it whatsoever. <laughs> Did he recognize you? <laughs> he recognized you. <laughs> I don't want to start off on the wrong foot. So this I, gentleman over here. <laughs> I'm on to you. you. <laughs> Good friend of mine. Shout out to his wife and friends who are in town. So I'm on, on the floor of uh, the, uh, the dome, and I'm not a tall person. And the person in front of me, you know, about a foot taller than me, uh, <laughs> holding up their phone the entire time, recording every single song. And they like that uh. for some reason, right? But are you ever going to go back and watch November? No, who is that Solo? for? <laughs> it's like recording fireworks. Who is that for? <laughs> no one wants to watch that, you know? I mean, maybe you record a couple seconds to prove to your buddies on Instagram that you are there. Of course. That's about yeah. it. Do you need all of Welcome to the Jungle? It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Like, do you wake up the next day and go, like, you know, man, that was, I, I think it was probably the greatest concert in the world. I better check. And you, like, watch it again. <laughs> was I sure. dreaming? It was that, like, an awesome night? I don't, I don't trust myself anymore. I just have to well, but awesome the audio night. is the real phone. It's just <laughs> it's so just good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm 70% so sure I had a good time. Yeah. I need to confirm the rest I of that 30. Hold on one evidence. second. I need some clear evidence here. I've seen people bring iPads. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, yeah. an iPad. That. That's too much. I, I saw, I saw one guy bring his own video crew. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't they? Doesn't Fish, who's like the ultimate touring, you know, they just are like better than anybody else. Fish, the the group. Yeah, yeah. That um, they uh, they they have a thing where it's like you know. Uh, you're allowed to bootleg the tape or something like that. They like you get a license or something. Mm -hmm. If you have a reason, you can do it. And like they just do that from tape because a part of it is like they're archiving the band. And if you're a big fish head or whatever, if you're into fish, that like you know it's important that they do that. I don't know if they're allowed to sell it, but they're allowed to some some weird thing that they have a thing with their fans where they're allowed to do it. So but why can't hmm. you put your phone down for for an hour and a half and just enjoy what's in front of you? Just live in the moment. And stop it. I don't think it's, I only think it's going to get worse. Ian is younger than me, yeah. so what do you think? How much time a day are you on the uh, phone? Oh, it's so gross. Mm. Is it? So Listen, much, that yeah. candy's not going to crush itself. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have an addiction, and I get sick if I don't play with my candy just, crush. Listen, what, just in case, one day fruit may take over, or candy may mm. take over. Yeah. Never know. You're ready to go. Be prepared. So going to call you in. I mean, we're going go, to war Ian, soon. Get, I just hope it's your candy crush. the biggest candy crusher here. Yeah. <laughs> Ian has some big news. Can I uh, just, you know, 
whatever. He's a really funny guy, but he just did a part on a TV show, which I think you guys would like to hear about. Oh, you're a sweetheart, Dave. No, I just shot uh, Last OG with uh, Tracy Morgan. Oh, I love that oh, show. Yeah, he yeah, just yeah, mentioned yeah. it earlier this week. Be, on the uh, cool. upcoming season. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Man, I love Zoot. Let me, uh, I don't want to ruin the sketch, but he plays mean? the white guy who doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? He plays the, what's going on in here, fellas? <laughs> heck! Heck! heck. <laughs> I'm all <laughs> caught up. Heck! <laughs> Yo, what, is it, is what in tarnation? <laughs> it's TBS, but you can watch it on Netflix with the curses. Oh, yes. really? Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's... it's uh, There's too it's, many viewing strategies now. Tracy Morgan and, and Tiffany Tracy Haddish. Morgan. Yes. Cedric yes. the Entertainers yep. is in it, too. Mm -hmm. What a great show. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Thanks. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you came in. Hey, me too, Riz. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never forget you, Riz. <laughs> oh. Comedy seller. Isn't that nice? Remember this name? face. <laughs> I'd like My to know. My name's not. on the wall behind you. <laughs> I'd like to know. And I got to say another thing great about St. Louis because, uh, you know, this is true, and he'll back me up on it. It's like, I don't party or anything, but I do like to eat after the show. Yes. And, like, we've been hitting a multitude of towns where there's no late-night food. But in St. Louis, you guys have multiple diners and, yes. like, a lot of choices. So. Yes, Uncle Bill's. Uncle Bill's oh, was great. Yeah. Wow. It was really nice. good. Yeah. That chili. Ooh. I really... Was regretting it. Don't last name night. it. <laughs> it ain't gonna stay that long. They don't even name it. Too. Uncle, Uncle Bill's. Yeah, used that, to have great blueberry pancakes back in the Uncle day. Uncle Bill's. Uh, I think the last time it was after a point fest. I went there. That's a place that kind of locked in time. Yeah, right? yes. it's got the old school yes. kind of yes. carpeting, yeah. mm -hmm. wood paneling. We yeah. went to. A I place. think there's still a smoking section in there. <laughs> I wish. Awesome. I we went, went to yeah, a place. Where were we when we when we both thought like, wow, this is gonna be like one of those old timey hole in the wall, of really Indy. good places. It it was such a meth den of it just... It was a meth. It was like three meth heads who, like, came in to buy meth, and then they're like, you know what? Why don't we just run this diner? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why not? And still do the meth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how to cook. I'm... <laughs> I have a pad. Let's just pretend we're waiters and waitresses. We have a lot of great food in this city. Yeah, you do. You but, really but, do. I mean, you guys tour all the time. How do you stay healthy? How do you is do it, it? Is it working out every day? Well, I'm waiting for this cycle place to open up downstairs. Um, <laughs> do you bring your own bowl flex with you to every... Uh... I usually uh, bring my own coffin because I don't want to <laughs> cause trouble. <laughs> Good night, forever. <laughs> and then I just get in my coffin. Good night, forever. <laughs> I know you like to do. I like to, every city like to uh, find the nearest jazzercise class. I do. Yeah. Warm up before. You know what really gets my blood game. going? Solving a murder. I just get online and <laughs> get out there and find a good cold case. <laughs> You're in the right city. <laughs> yeah. You're in the right city. They have plenty of unsolved stuff here. Yeah. I just watched that. Don't f with cats. Yes, oh, I saw man. that. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's wild. What's what? that one? So oh. it's this guy posted a video of him killing two oh. kittens. Right. And I then the internet, just people that saw the video became detectives and found out who it was. Right. And things progressed in a not very good way. Oh, cool. And they eventually. Hunted yeah, yeah, they, they hunted them. They but instead of like guy. Nazis, like this is the new thing, the cat torturers. Mm. We're hunting them. Yeah, and it escalated it beyond cat torture. Well, it wound up being this guy who had had, had uh, murdered somebody online and then cut him up and sent oh. body parts to... Uh, did he murder? Uh, did he previously murder or did he do it to spite them? He did it. Post kitty murder. Yes. And so, he wound up sending yeah. body parts to uh, like the Canadian government. Crazy. Yeah, and like news stations. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, well, we thanks, know each guys. other so well. <laughs> no, that's good. Now I don't, now have, don't to have to watch, watch that it. one. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I love it because oh, it's like you did, you did the I tried time to for leave, me. I tried to leave as much as I can out of it. And he was like, yep. yeah, everybody's no, no, dead. No, that's good. And, because in Netflix, there's too much. You have to watch everything. Yeah, Luca yeah. Magnata, you whatever you can. Yeah. Yeah. Luca Magnata. Did yeah, you hear about this? Uh, uh, don't mess with cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I mean, you got a lot of stuff, you know, uh, on the horizon. Uh, bumping bikes. Is there a new season coming out? We're uh, we're working on it, and Jeff and I, of course, we're rolling hard through um, a lot of these great theater and um, casino dates. Uh, Ian was on a few of those too, and oh, yeah, uh, they were great. The uh, we're going to hit Texas. That's coming up uh, January um, 16th, 17th, and 18th. My birthday, actually, will be in Houston on stage with Jeff Ross. See, dreams come true, mm. kids. Yeah. <laughs> the dreams you had as a child will eventually, as a man, if you really put your nose to the grindstone, will come true. Yeah. So. Well, I appreciate you coming in, Dave. No, I really do. And, and Ian... He's, 
Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. I, I can't apologize enough. Oh, for God, the, no, I'm, I'm, I don't the, care. Whatchamacallit. I mean, I'm if he sees you in New York again, you have to act like, even if you do remember, you have to act like you do not know him. Well, you yeah. remembered for two years. I mean, that's a year away from being a fat It's been long. In terms, long of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in terms of grudge and hate. <laughs> Who's Sal? Yeah, you're my Salman Rushdie. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you come to New York, all right? This is what I think. Name tags for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that's a given. I'm just a good radio guy from St. Louis. Just remember that. <laughs> Dave Mattel, thank you very much. Yeah. In finance, we'll, we'll thank we'll you for having you me, Nikki man. Glazer Appreciate and, and on Bumpin' Mics. See him at Helium Comedy Club tonight. Heliumcomedy.com. Guys, we got to get a picture. All right, it is 920 on this Friday. Somebody fetch me the one they call Fandango. Oh, my God, I forgot about that. Oh, wait. Hang on. We got to gotta cut this. See, King Scott, I thought you were giving me the, to the, the sign where they're out of time. No, I was holding, sorry, ah. he saw that. Because you looked down and I... No, I thought King Scott was giving me the we're out of time signal. No, he held up the thing and... Did I didn't bam, see bam, it. Bam, I bam, can't bam. see over this thing. Anyway, before you leave... <laughs> what happened? He's yelling at everybody. What's going on here? Is okay, it before down? you leave... Yeah? Uh, being that this is your second time on the show, we want to give you the Second Timers Club certificate. Wow. Isn't that look nice? At that. Look at that. Thank you, guys. It's a second timers club, Dave Attell. Nice. A look at the frame and everything, which we're going to need back. Beautiful. You cannot yeah, keep the frame. No, I love that because I, there's no way I would fly with this. This would end up. <laughs> there's no way. Thank you so much for taking this. I you don't want to have to throw this no away. No way can keep the frame. <laughs> but, I love uh, it. It's in braille like almost. <laughs> You're rubbing my face. <laughs> but, uh, yes, great. it is Thank a, a second-timers club certificate for being on the show. If you come back a third time, you're in the third-timers club. When do I get to make, a, like, a speech, you know, much like the Golden Globes, about some of my issues? <laughs> if you invite me. Actually, you know what? There's only one five-timer, and the five-timers get a jacket. Nikki Glazer is the only one in the five-timers. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yep, I didn't yep. know that. So, wow. again, dare to dream. That's going to beat it. Yeah, but I wow. brought in an opener, so it doesn't, like, bump me up at least a half no. to the night. No. 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 <laughs> this is Ian's first time. Yes. So, would you like to make a speech? Well, I would say that um, first of all, as a second timer, you know, I think we all delete. I think we all believe in second chances, and uh, that's what we saw here today. Mm -hmm. And um, honestly, I'm gonna, you know, I don't know whether I keep the uh, the actual frame or you don't keep the frame. No, I don't. Just get the okay, paper. cool. Yeah. Because I like a guy who said, you know what? I've got a table I'm not using, <laughs> so why don't I just turn it into a picture frame? Uh. <laughs> it's good to see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what work release guy you got on this one, but honestly, he lost it's a heavy finger. commitment, much like this frame. <laughs> Sometimes I like, after the show, um, talk Finn out of the town and just raft down the Mississippi. And thanks for this frame slash raft that I can sit on with my tuchus <laughs> as my bare feet dangle in the Mississippi. No, thank you, guys. It's an honor. Uh, thank you. Yes. And I, I will thank try you. and make it to the fifth time. Thank you. Yeah, and then you get the, it's a sequin jacket. It's, it's gorgeous. And how much does that weigh? Is that made of lead? <laughs> yeah, they give, <laughs> yeah, it's made of chain mail. <laughs> All right, David, tell everybody. Hey. The sixth time is just a, a, a brick of plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cinder block. <laughs> yeah, we, should, we fit you for concrete shoes if you're a six-timer.